guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Candace, and today I'm bringing you my Christmas gift guide for 2023 or what I got my kids for Christmas um, I like to share these videos with you in case you want to get some ideas or need some inspiration for your kids for the holiday season as well so I just recently shared my stocking stuffer video so stocking stuffer video so I will post that in the description down below if you want to check that out as well if you're needing um, some ideas for the stockings this year so this year just like for reference my daughter is 12 she's gonna be 13 next month and my son is 10 he will be 11 in March um, my daughter does horseback riding so we have some horseback riding items and my son does baseball um, so we have some baseball items and he's also into like Pokemon and Roblox and stuff like that. So if that gives you a little bit of um, kind of what they're into in their ages, if that helps with uh, your kids as well. So this year we did not get as much, they did not get as much as they usually get just because the items that they were wanting um, are much more expensive. Uh, we are kind of out of the toy stage. I had mentioned that in my previous video. And so when you kind of get to the non-toy stage, toys can be extremely expensive too, but then there's other items that are just really expensive. So they didn't get quite as much as they usually do just because we're in a different stage in life, which is totally fine. Um, they know they're not like big on, it's not a big deal if there's not like a million presents under the tree. Also, um, their big present this year, I'll post a picture um, because it's not here yet. We have to get it, we have to order it. And so I'll post a picture of what they're getting, but it's going to end up being like a, like a little mini fridge, kind of how you get for a dorm room. Um, because they like to have like little waters and stuff in their room. So I thought it'd be really cool if they had their own little mini fridge. So I'll pop up like an example of what we're getting somewhere on the screen. There's a few items that haven't come in yet, um, but I really wanted to get this video made. I was waiting as long as I could, but we're, it's already like December 4th or 5th. Um, so I was like, we're going to have to just wing it with what we have. Um, but we'll start with my daughter and let's just get into it. So something new that we're getting into this year with her is beauty products. So I ended up getting her this Sephora Favorites Holiday Must Have um, because she is new to like beauty, beauty products. We don't exactly know what she's going to like yet. We're just trying to try a few different items um, without having to spend a ton of money and then her not end up liking it. So I thought this was a really good way for her to try a bunch of different items. There's a few full size items in here, but then there's also like sample size so that she can try it. And if she really likes it, we can go and get her the full size. So this is the Sephora holiday favorites. There is dry shampoo, uh, dry shampoo, a beauty blender, some Charlotte Tilbury a setting spray. There's some Dennis, Dr. Dennis Gross Skin Care, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna uh, Mascara. There is um, Milk Makeup Lick, Lip and Cheek Cream, um, the original makeup eraser, which I ended up getting her some for her stockings. And then Youth to the People Green Tea and Spinach Cleanser. So I don't know, I thought this was really fun um, so that she can try a bunch of different products and we don't have to you know, commit to just one product and not know if she likes it or not. So I can link everything down below. I will link this for you. Um, this is from Sephora and it comes in a really cute little bag. So I thought that was perfect. The next thing that she got that she asked for were some Nike sweatpants. So she actually has some in gray. They were actually mine and she took them. Um, I don't know if moms, if that has become a thing for y'all, but these little teenagers take your clothes. <laughs> so those are hers now, um, which I never really wore them anyway. And she looks super cute in them, so I can't blame her. But I got her some more in, um, this one's in black. It's just the Nike standard fit mid-rise nike sweats these are from academy and then i ended up getting her the pink ones as well so i thought these are really cute she wears these to school she's a very comfy girl she doesn't do a whole lot of dressy items for school so these will be perfect um the next thing that she got that she's been asking for like ever was a stanley cup so i ended up getting her the 40 ounce um all day hydration stanley cup in this really pretty like blue color um 
she's been asking forever, but I haven't wanted to spend the money. And then I have the dupes, and the dupes work really well for me, but she wanted the real deal. So this is what she's getting. Um, this we got from Dix, but I've seen them Academy. I've seen them at, um, have I seen them at Academy? I don't know if I've seen them at Academy. I know I've seen them at Dix, and I know Amazon has them too, but I'll link the cheapest one down below. So because she does horseback riding and at school they don't have water fountains, I ended up getting her two uh, water bottles. So she got the Stanley and then I also got her this, I don't know how to pronounce this, Awala maybe, Awala. Um, this is 24 hours cold, leak proof. This is in like a cute pink and orangey color and you can lock it and then you can drink it and it's got like the full mouth spout. Um, she loves the water bottles and she's always on the go with horseback riding and at school. So I thought this would be, um, another good one to add to our water bottle collection. We'd actually need to go through it because some of them, like they'll leave the lid somewhere or they break. So I need to go see it. I need to go through our little water bottle collection and see which ones actually match. And we have a whole water bottle, but so she got those. Um, the next thing that she get, this is a larger gift. I'll pull it over here. Um, both of my kids actually ended up getting this new bedding. So this is the Ugg bedding. We got this from Macy's. This is a reversible um, comforter and it's it's the Cory and it's a full queen comforter. It comes with one comforter and two shams and it's super soft. This is white. It's the one she has now. Her bed is white as well. Her room is like white, pink, and blue. Um, it's super cute but she was needing some new bedding like for real. So I thought this was really cute and it's very simple on one end it's like fuzzy and then on one end it's more of like um cotton and kind of like cooler so like in the summer you can flip it and then in the winter you can have it on the warm side so i thought this would be perfect to go along with that i ended up getting her this pink light pink ugg blanket it's super fuzzy um we're blanket people i don't know if y'all seen my cleaning videos but we have blankets all over this house at all times it's kind of annoying but it is what it is um so i thought this would be really pretty to go with her new bedding and it's this the camera's not really showing what it is but it's more of a pink it's the camera's making it look kind of like taupe but it's like a pink so really really cute Another thing that she got that is one of her more expensive gifts, which is why we're not doing too much this year, um, she does horseback riding, and she asked for some new riding boots. So she asked for the tall ones. Right now she has the shorter ones. Let me turn this phone off. Um, right now she has the shorter ones, so she asked for the taller ones. These are the Ariat brands. Um, I got these from Dover Saddlery. If your daughter or son, if they're equestrian, you know how pricey these can be. Um, but they're very great quality and she will literally be able to wear these for a very long time. Um, so this was part of her, her list and it's got a zipper all the way up the back, but they are really, really, really pretty. I think she's doing a show in January, so she'll get to wear these, which will be really nice. Um, and then a few other items that I got her. I did get her a pair of Ugg slipper sandal things. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen. Um, she did ask for those, but they're not in yet. So I'm hoping they come in time because shipping's been a little weird lately. Um, but hopefully they come in time. Hey, Ram. You want to say hi? Oh, you're barking? Okay. So hopefully they come in time, um, but I'll pop the ones on here that I got her. And the, let's see, I also got, this is kind of for a family gift, but I'm going to let her open it. This is the game Tapple. Um, it's actually really fun. You have like a category and then you have this little timer and you have to pick, this says like pizza toppings. And so for like pea, you could do pepperoni and then you would put the pea, like push the pea down. And then the next person would have to pick another pizza topping, like C could be cheese and you put the C down and you have to do it before the timer runs out. I think this will be really fun to play with as a family, maybe even on Christmas day because Christmas day we kind of just hang out at home and just let the kids use all their stuff. Um, so I thought this would be really fun to play as a family. And another item that I thought would be fun as a family is this pickle ball. Have y'all, pickle ball is so popular right now, but this is tabletop 
pickleball so you could actually attach it to like your kitchen table or we have a really big island in our kitchen so i thought this would be so fun to set it up and us four all play pickleball um i got this from target i believe and it comes with four pickleball paddles you've got these like lightweight pickleballs and then you can kind of see how they set it up on the table here so i thought this was really fun so that's majority of her stuff she does have a few like riding shirts that are gonna come in and then a pair of riding pants but other than that the budget was spent so <laughs> um, i will move over to my son's items and um, we'll just start off with his he also got some ugg bedding um this is more of a gray it is reversible same as hers super soft and then to go along with this well, I didn't plan this very good. To go along with his, he got this Ugg blanket as well. It's really soft gray. His room is like the walls are like dark blue. Um, and he has an accent wall that kind of looks like brick. So like gray brick. So this will go really good with it. And he loves a comfy bed. That boy, he loves a comfortable bed. So I think he's going to love this. Okay, we also got him this Under Armour hat. It's just a little baseball hat. We got it from Academy. Um, I thought it was really cute because it's like this olive green with the black emblem. Um, he loves wearing baseball hats, especially when he doesn't feel like doing his hair. So he'll just throw this on. Um, so I thought this was a really good gift. He also got an Awala um, water bottle. His is just black on black. This is perfect for him for baseball or he does take a water bottle to school every day as well. Um, I actually got both of my kids this, um, but I'm just, I just figured I would show you one. So Alexis is also getting this, but so is Colton. This is the You Can Count On God 100 Devotions for Kids. So you could read this every day. Um, I think it's really, really good. It's not very long, so it keeps their attention span, um, you know, because kids can like lose attention pretty fast but um i thought this was really really nice because we are you know we do celebrate christmas we celebrate jesus birthday um and so i want to make sure that we keep you know our christian faith when celebrating christmas so i think the kids will really love that i also got him some batting gloves he asked for some new batting gloves and i heard these had really good reviews i got these from amazon but you can also order from their website it's the bruce bolt batting glove i'll open it for you they're like genuine leather i got him the white ones and they have this really cute like lightning bolt and then it wraps around your wrist for like extra support i guess um but they're really soft so i think he's really gonna like these and he needed some he plays a little league baseball so he's we're done for the fall but he will start back up in the spring um another item that i got him which it's kind of a toy, but kind of not. It's the Gel Fire um, Nerf Gun. This is Gel Fire Mythic. And in his stocking, if y'all watched that video, I shared that I had gotten him some refills. I'll probably take those out and just wrap it with this because someone mentioned we I shouldn't like give it away by doing that. So um, I'll probably take them out. But uh, it's just those little like water gel things and oh and eyewear is included that's cool and it's a battery that can be charged but he will play with this outside like with his dad they'll just go like shoot cans or something um but i thought it was really cool and it's just like the upgraded version of the nerf guns that have the like the foam bullets this is kind of like maybe the next level up so i'll link this down below for you guys um, continuing on with the baseball theme, I ended up getting him the skills a bullet ball. So this, you can throw it and it will actually tell you how fast you threw your pitch. Um, so I thought this would be really fun. He did pitch this season for the first time and it was really, really good. Um, so I thought this would be fun for him to see how fast he's actually throwing. Another item that I got that's related to baseball is Backyard League Gaming Baseball. So this the baseball in here, it like links up to an app that you can set up on your iPad or your phone. Um, and there's different games that you can play, different challenges that you can meet. Um, I'll link it down below for you and you can kind of look up more information about it. But I thought it was really cool because it will, there's like one game that you can play where you're trying to beat your fastest throw, basically trying to like PR with throwing, um, how fast you can catch, how fast you can do 
grounders, how fast, how high you can throw a pop fly. So I don't know. I thought it was really cool. And I think you'll have a lot of fun with it because he's a gamer. He loves playing video games, but he also loves playing baseball. And this is a way that you can kind of combine it into both. Okay, so we are still um, Pokemon people right now. I thought he would grow out of it, but he has not. So we're just going to keep rolling with it until he's done. So I ended up getting him a booster, bo booster bundle of the Paradox Rift. I think this comes with six booster packs. So they're just little packs that you open and see which ones you get. And then I ended up getting him the Charizard EX kit. It's got... Um, the Charizard cards, Charmander, and then some booster packs as well to open. I don't know a whole lot about Pokemon, y'all. Um, I know that he likes it. He sends me the ones that he wants. We did end up getting him like a graded Pokemon card. I can try to pop it on the screen if I can find it. I don't know if they have it online or not. We actually had to go to like a hobby store and pick it out. Um, but it's like a graded card. So it's basically like a rare card that gets sent off and then they check it for imperfections and then they put it in like a really nice plastic thing and it's like mounted almost and then there's a score on it and then when we got him is a 10 which is like the best. So I don't know. It's I don't know a lot about it, but I know he'll like it. So, um, but also this too, he loves to open the booster packs. Another item that I got him are some new shoes. <laughs> um, he needs some new shoes. So these are just the Nike Air Max. We got these from Academy. Um, I believe they were on sale. These are the Nike Air Max XC. I don't know, but I like them. They're really nice, just simple. He's a pretty simple kid. He doesn't need a whole lot of flashy stuff. Um, the one more thing I got him for baseball are these turf shoes. I got these from um, Amazon. They're the Under Armour brand. He actually already has a pair of these exact same ones, but he's outgrowing them. They were really tight. So this is like the next size up in the same shoe. So I don't know if that's a really good Christmas gift, but because he already has them, but these are like the newer version. Um, but he actually really liked these versus he wore these instead of wearing like cleats on the, when he played baseball and these did really well for him. So I got a, another pair of these. And the last thing that he got, he got, a, it seems like he got a little bit more than her, but his stuff wasn't quite as expensive as hers was. So we kind of had to like balance it out in a way. Um, but he got this skills pitch back rebound net thing. So basically you can pitch the ball into the net and it will come back to you and then you catch it. So it's basically like play and catch without having to have another person out there or trying to um, pitch and make accurate throws into the red square. So I think this will be really good for him to work on his skills. And then I can kind of be out there watching him. I don't have to like actually throw the ball because I'll tell you what, I have, he has me like throw pop flies and my arm gets so tired. So this will be really good for him that he can work kind of independently. Okay, so that's mostly it for Christmas this year from um, us to my kiddos just because everything is just so expensive now. They we're out of the toys. There's no more Barbies, which is unfortunate. I would much rather go down the Barbie aisle and just get her a ton of stuff or get them, get him a bunch of Play-Doh or whatever, but we're just not in that stage anymore. So less items because the prices go up, but that, you know, it's still, it doesn't matter. Christmas is not about the amount of items that you get. And then even like the big gift, I don't even know who came up with having to get a big gift. And I don't even know why we still do it, but we did. We're getting them the little fridges. Um, but you don't have to do all of that. The Christmas is not about that literally at all. And it's like society has made it just so stressful and crazy. So just do whatever you can. You're great parents, no matter what you get your kiddos. Um, and it's just fun, honestly, like waking up Christmas morning and doing their stockings, opening a few gifts and playing with everything. It's just fun. So, okay. I will link everything that I can down below for you guys. I hope this gave you a few ideas. If you were kind of on the fence of what to get, um, your kiddos, if they have a hobby, that's definitely a really good direction to go or like a sport or an extracurricular activity is getting them things that they can use for their hobby or their sports. That's kind of what we did over here. Um, but other than that, that's it. Okay, I will link everything for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and you can see what Santa's bringing because I keep it Santa friendly over here. So if you want to see more items like that, you can follow me on Instagram um, and I can share it over there. All right, thanks guys.